back to the green yard. It is a very chilly late January day. Uh, we actually had the coldest day of the year yesterday. So uh, it's getting cold. It was almost uh, 35 degrees in the green yard uh, last night. Uh, some of our tropicals uh, definitely don't look that great and they're all still alive which is nice but they uh they definitely have some frost burn and some cold burn on there uh not my favorite time of year to be out and enjoying the green yard unfortunately but we have to do a lot of stuff during this time in order to set ourselves up for our springtime we've talked about that already because we have our uh, pink lady apple tree uh, which is right over here that we've already trimmed the uh, Asian pear tree is behind me at the end of our stone fruit orchard that we have going on here. And right beside me is what we're going to talk about today. This is my Granny Smith apple tree. Uh, it creates those large green apples. Very uh, kind of sweet but sour at the same time. My wife really likes these. So um, this tree has struggled a little bit since we originally put it in the green yard. Uh, I bought it. It wasn't the best tree when I bought it. It was on kind of super sale at the nursery I buy things from and uh, noticed that it had some issues to start out. It has grown a lot though. It's actually, uh, it started out right around, you know, that three foot tall range. So it's, uh, you know, gotten up to seven feet or so, but it's really lanky. You'll notice that the shape of like our pink lady apple tree, it's very thick and it's sturdy and it's going to, you know, hold the hundred to two hundred apples it's going to produce this year where granny smith isn't quite to that stage yet now this is also a younger tree so it's somewhat expected but hopefully uh, we can help it out this year and get it its winter pruning this is actually the first year that i've done any winter pruning so uh, we're definitely going to uh, kind of signify out this lead branch here uh, definitely clean up the middle of it and uh, trim around the sides so that we can get more of that shape that I want it to have. And hopefully that also helps it to grow those thicker, sturdier, healthier branches that can hold fruit in the future. So let's go ahead and let's start our winter pruning of our beautiful Granny Smith apple tree. Here we go. created last year obviously we're not going to eat that uh we'll trim that off today but it has produced fruit apparently which is kind of fun um you'll notice it's a little bit even more scraggly once you see it up close um definitely needs some some pruning help here especially in the middle it's all twisted and and all like running in all the branches are running in together into each other not the best uh, shape and that's partly my fault I probably should have trimmed it last year um, one of the nice things though is that I do believe we'll get some fruit this year you can see here these are some flower buds you'll notice that they're very similar to the flower buds on our Asian pear tree as well as on our uh, our pink lady apple tree it looks like there's uh, one right here as well and then of course lots and lots and lots of leaf buds on here uh, all over the place so let's go ahead and let's start trimming this guy up uh, the first thing I'm going to do is focus on this lead uh, trunk here you notice it kind of goes to the side but it is is pretty solid lead trunk so um, I'm going to end it right about the height of the wall and we're going to really focus on some of these some of these branches that it has going off here now there's too many here to really form a good structure and you'll notice that they're all going the same direction except for this one so i'm definitely going to keep this guy back here and i'm probably going to trim maybe this guy off uh and 
maybe this one off too. I, I like this guy because he's coming towards me. So that's a different direction too that we have. Um, but yeah, definitely some pruning here in the middle. You can see these ones are actually running into each other. So that's definitely not a good thing. So let's go ahead, let's get pruning. So I've mentioned this before, but I uh, just want to kind of reiterate it. it is important before uh, we start our pruning, definitely going to disinfect our uh, shears. This here is just that rubbing alcohol you can get at the drugstore. I'm gonna take my cotton pad and just kind of rub it all over, try to really clean uh, especially where it cuts so this leading edge this sharp edge we definitely want to clean that disinfect that um, with our rubbing alcohol but also where it chops here too we definitely want to get that clean we want to do all sides and really just get it clean all all together and once we have it clean like we do right now now we can go ahead and start chopping here we go of the way that we want it to be um oh actually there's a big branch right down here i don't want that guy So one of the other things that we look for are damaged branches and by damaged, if they have any sort of, you know, um, like open sore or canker or anything like that, of course you want to cut that out. This tree actually has a canker down by the craft and um, I don't think it's affecting the growth of the tree. I think it's just kind of a little bit of a slower growing tree but i have been keeping an eye on it i definitely keep my mulch away from it so it doesn't get any worse and i think it's going to end up being okay and i'm not really worried about it but um i know there's two schools of thought one is if it's got a canker or something pull it out plant a new one the other one is you know nature uh favors kind of those that tough it out so um, I'm gonna let this guy tough it out it doesn't look diseased or infected or anything like that so I'm not going to uh, remove it at this time now this big branch though up at the top I was debating whether to trim it where I did or not because I took off almost that whole big branch and the reason why I did is because it actually had some damage on it uh, about this far up so about six inches from where I cut it was uh, several pieces were damaged uh, want to remove all of that damage that you can obviously if I could cut the damage out of where it is I would but that would kill the entire tree so I can't do that um, I really thinned up the middle you know the, the hard thing when we have a young tree like this is that um, I really want fruit I really want some granny smith apples but I have to make those hard choices trim it uh, so that it's more successful as a tree as a whole and will give me more fruit in the future. So it's a long-term investment, uh, not that short-term gratification of, you know, harvesting that first Randy Smith apple. So really need to, uh, it really needed to be trimmed, definitely trimmed it. I want it to kind of straighten itself out. So I'm hoping that this branch over on this side really takes off this year and uh, heads over in this direction and it can grow a little bit more. I'll probably get a couple apples off of it. I definitely see that there are still flowers on it, um, but I don't know how many I'm actually gonna get because I did trim a whole bunch of uh, those buds off to make sure that the tree is healthier in the future and next year I can get a big harvest of apples. So um, 
That's winter pruning a Granny Smith apple tree here in Phoenix, Arizona. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it helps you uh, trim your apple trees. Like I said, I've been uh, you know, successful with trimming my pink lady apple tree. This is the first year I trimmed this one. I should have trimmed it last year. Uh, it just, I, you know, I wanted fruit. So I was thinking a little short term last year instead of long term like I am this year. But uh, I'm excited to do a growing a Granny Smith apple tree video here, hopefully in the spring and hopefully a harvest video as well. So as always, live green, plant lots, and of course, have fun. We'll see you next time.